Hello again. This time I'm going to be covering how I set up my army for Gaines Mill. Uh, this battle is a little weird and that the way deployment works is kind of non-standard. So if we take a look, it shows that we can bring four cores, but we couldn't. you can only bring partial cores if you want to try and fill everything out. Uh, and the other part to this is that these cores don't all actually arrive at the same time. So you'll get part of your first core, then part of the, it, it's sort of split up into either this part of the second core or this first core, and then eventually you get part of the third core. And then you get the rest of the units from both cores at the very end of the battle. And with the way the timers work, they'll basically show up, maybe be able to walk down to one of the positions, and then the battle will be over. Uh, the timing on this battle is actually really tight. Um, so I was doing some experimenting, and what I found out is the best way to get as many units onto the field as early as possible is to bring, basically what you need is you need 20 units in your first core, you need 10 in your second, and then you need 20 in the third. Uh, bringing any units in the fourth core is basically a waste of time. Uh, they think they get in with like 30 or 45 minutes uh, before the battle ends. Um, now, in addition to this, is the so the last five units in this core will come in very late. The last five units in this core will come in very late, and the last five five units of this core will come in very late, and then the last five won't show up at all. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be building a bunch of junk units to basically cap out the cores so I get the units that I want to come in. Uh, the reason behind this is, uh, like at Union Shiloh, uh, the number of cores you can, do, or the number of brigades that come in is based on a, uh, the, I guess, a percentage of your, the number of units in the core. So if you have, uh, let's see, what's the best example? So I guess over here is the best example. So if we have 10 units in this core, the first deployment will take half of the number of units in the core and deploy up to 10 of them. So if we only have 10 units, you only get five. If you have 20 units in this core, then you get the full 10 units right away. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, if there's any follow-up questions, let me know and I'll respond as best I can. Uh, but I'm gonna go in and start setting this all up. Uh, I guess the other thing to note is scaling on this battle is pretty minimal, so we can get away with creating all these extra units with pretty, like, very little downside. Like, normally, adding all those extra units would cause problems, uh, but it's, for whatever reason in this battle, it's not the case. Uh, this is going to take a little while just to get everything sorted out um, and get all the officers worked around and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I guess I'm also going to, I'm going to buy these. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll actually field them until very late in the campaign, but uh, Fayettevilles are so expensive that once you get 10 econ, like, you know, buying, like those, that 750 is something like 50,000 right now, and I only have four points in econ, and um, I guess I'm not sure exactly what that sells for. But uh, once we get 10 Econ, like if we need to, you can sell those and get a huge influx of cash. Um, also, I don't need the reputation points for anything else. Uh, I think I take minus one morale, but it basically doesn't matter. Uh, so let's see. We've got a lot of Springfields. Um, we don't have a whole lot of anything else, uh, which is kind of a problem. Like the last couple of battles have been, like we've been getting Harper's Ferries, but we haven't been capturing very many of them. Um, and our big stock came from Bull Run and Shiloh, where a whole lot of units were using really terrible weapons. So now we have, you know, 10,000 of these, which don't do a whole lot. Um, we're in okay shape in terms of officers. We're, you know, we've got someone, some that are wounded. Um, we're going to end up buying up most of these. Uh, put the last point in medicine. Okay, so we've got a general here. We're going to need one there. 
So part of my goal is I want as many good officers as I can get. Uh, so I'm going to try and use up all of my officers of Colonel or above. Uh, I'm going to try and use up all of my units all of my officers of colonel or above so that I can when I create a new corps then it automatically generates a new officer for me uh, so I'm going to be setting up a second skirmisher unit uh, I'm only going to set him to about 200 the reason being is we have we currently have what uh, 35 of these so we're going to buy all this We have 113 of these. I think we get 98 at Malvern Hill, so that's going to give me uh, maybe it's 78. Either way, there's uh, just under 200 of these are going to be ava available at Malvern Hill, and having scoped rifles at Malvern Hill gives you units that can hit across the river. Uh, so that's that's why I'm trying to get to those. The Whitworths are a little less useful at Malvern Hill just because of the way the terrain is set up. So I'm this unit is going to be a little bit smaller and I'm going to try and get it to, I mean, well, it'll probably happen one way or the other, but I want to take at least 10 casualties or so in this unit. It's already topped up. Let's check. We're also going to have to be reconstituting these. I'm not going to buy any units for him. I'll send you back up to 350. Then we're going to have to rearrange all the cores to get everything to work out right. Uh, let's see, so... Going to want some more counter, yes, counter battery brigades. And at this point we're just getting rid of... Trying to, I'm trying to get all the officers out of the queue and then I'll start building stuff up. Two colonels. I'm just gonna go and buy it. Go ahead and buy them up now. I think money is particularly tight, but this will give me a little bit of leeway. I'm only going to go up to 1100. Um, again, scaling's not really a problem, but I'm not going to need more. And I don't remember exactly what I'm going to need to deal with at Malvern Hill, so I don't want to go too high. Uh, if, if everything goes well in this battle, we'll basically be completely surrounding them and trapping them, and there will be very little actual fighting. Uh, winning the battle itself is pretty easy. It's trying to get every, trying to completely clear the map is what gets difficult, just because you have so little time. Let's see, they're all set up. It'll be a little high. Uh, related to the armory, because of this, this is also why I always buy the reputation buy for the rifles. Just because you you either end up using a lot of not a lot of muskets or you have to buy a lot of rifles if you want them. And while it's some, there are some arguments of what is the most point efficient way to get money. Do you want to use the, the 18 for 75,000 or do you want to buy the rifles? And for me, the rifles have looked like they usually work out in my favor. Um, there's with different values in econ that might not always work out. Okay, let's work on... Actually, what, I, what am I going to do next? Okay, we have 1,400 of those. One of our best units, the Harbor's Ferries. Right, let me bring these guys back. Wait, where did they go? 
there they are. Um, give you the Harper's Ferries. Yes, sir. doesn't matter. I'm going to be shifting this around later, but it doesn't matter at the moment. So I don't think we have enough Harper's Ferries to give to another unit. Nope, we're basically out. Got some Enfields, some Lorenzes, and some MGs. Or MJ and Gs. This is basically set. We'll go to these guys. I'm going to switch these units over to Springfield. And that gives me a better idea of how many full units I can put together without having to buy more rifles, which in this case is not a whole lot. So switch you it's out. Tough. The worst possible general. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. I may change my mind, put a slightly better general in here, keep him safer. I don't know. I'll, I might change that later. Okay, so got enough of you. I don't, this guy is low enough. I'm not going to try and keep the second star. It'll just cost too much. And he'll get it back pretty soon. Just doing the standard 5,000. We're not going to have the supply completely capped out, but that's fine. We'll probably do that at Malvern Hill. If this is this battle is short enough. You don't run out of supply. Uh, though I think, for whatever reason, I haven't seen the second su the supply wagons from the second cores actually come in. I'm not. Maybe that might have something to do with because I'm stacking the cores, and supply units often will take up a slot sometimes on reinforcements. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there, but I have not seen a second supply wagon come in on this battle, which is actually pretty annoying. It'd be nice to restock the snipers or something, but it's not really a problem. Okay, so we've got these all set up. Uh, let's see what we can do in terms of better weapons. Not going to do that. It's ridiculously expensive. I guess also there are not enough left. Probably not worth it. Uh, we'll do the Enfields. Actually, which unit is the best? Okay, yep, you get the Enfields. They're all basically the same. Slightly better efficiency. So you will get... Uh, maybe. I'm not sure if I'll do that. That I will do. And yeah, we'll buy some more Mississippis. Okay, so those are our core units. Now we need to start using up officers. We've got one, two, three, four. Four left. But we have. Lieutenant Colonels, we can swap in to use up some of them. And again, a lot of this officer stuff, you can, if you're low on officers, if you've had worse luck in terms of getting officers wounded, that sort of thing, like you can skip all this and you'll end up with a few, a uh, few units that don't have an extra star, um, but it's not that big a deal. 
think we should have enough money to do this. If we have to dip in supply a little bit, we can if I mess up. Okay, so now we've got all the colonels and above taken care of. So now we're going to start adding, so we're going to need a third core. I'm going to swap him out for one of the major generals later. I might swap a second one out, I'm not sure yet. Uh, part of it is I really want to keep, I want after this battle, I really want Johnson to hit uh, level three. And I'm not quite sure if I can pull that off in core command. So I'm probably just going to leave him in charge of one of the artillery units and that should take care of it. And that way I'll have him at level three for uh, Malvern Hill. I'm going to be sending mostly newer units into uh, in the first couple of waves. And my more experienced units are going to be coming in later. Uh, part of the reason I'm also swapping this is I want the speed bonuses just to get them in place a little faster. Okay, so okay, now we're going to start filling out the junk units. Sure, we'll just use up the officers we have and then we'll swap them out when we need to. And these units basically are going to, they're not going to participate in the battle at all. Um, if you use cavalry in these positions, maybe you could get them in place to do something. Uh, or if you try and really push the AI to route a certain direction, maybe you could do it. Um, I'm not going to bother, so these units will show up on the field very briefly. I'll tell them to run across the map and gain a little experience, and they're all going to get disbanded. Uh, all the officers I'll be able to use later on, so that's no loss. Okay, now I have to start buying major buying stuff. Okay, so we've got the three majors. Yes, sir. Yeah, we'll go ahead and we're gonna end up buying them, so that's fine. We're probably gonna we're gonna switch those around so they're on actual units later. Gonna go with Springfields for now. I might I I could buy Palmettos for one unit, but they're not uh, they're not enough better than the Springfields that I don't think I'm gonna bother. I guess the other thing to emphasize is I'm this has this is actually ne negatively imp impacting me for scaling. Like I'm not doing this for any sort of scaling thing. I'm just doing this to pad out the cores so that I can get the units on the field that I want on the field sooner. Okay, so we've got that. This is going to be a unit that I actually use. And then I have three of these for junk units. Hold off with the rest of the junk units because I want to make sure that I don't buy more officers than I really need because I'm going to be buying captains, which are of very little use. I might be able to level them up with something like Fredericksburg or Antietam. That's usually a place where you can bring a lot of, you have the slots to bring junk units and you can sort of make use of them and level them up. Yes, sir. Okay, so now we've done that start getting people into where we need them. So we want both snipers coming in first. Let's make one more division so we can have space to swap stuff. So 
24 pounders are going to be coming in with the flanking attack. Actually, no, there's a better way to do that. So I probably should have switched around. Eh, I'll just rename everything at the end. That'll be easier. So we've got all our counter battery artillery coming in early. This unit wants to end up over here. Cavalry coming in with this, and I would like three, but I think I need the extra infantry. sort of I'm splitting up the uh, infantry units a little bit because they're the ones you usually take the most damage and that subjects the division can commander to more damage so I'm gonna sort of spread out the chances of one or the other getting hit I think I want you yeah we're gonna send you down here. It's probably a better way of organizing all this, but it's going to take a little bit. Let's move you there. Okay, so I think we need, need more infantry here. So we've got one. later. So we're going to build a larger larger unit. I don't think I want to buy another one though. Disband one of these units to get the officer back. Artillery. I 
think that's what I want in my first core. So then let's dump. Dump uh, the junk core down there. Need two more infantry units here. Take four one and four three. We can put a junk unit here. So this core is set up except for that one slot. Bought anything extra? Okay. I think I want you. Debating if I want to send one of these junk brigades over here, soak up some fire more. And if I do, I want to send one who has at least the speed perk. Eh, we're not going to do it for now. So what do we have for slots? We have... We need one more junk division. 224 pounders. Okay, so let's see what we can fill out here for more infantry, I think. We have for armory. Basically Springfields. I think these are mostly going to be commanded by Majors. They're not going to get a star, but that's all right. Though I think I'm, if, we'll see what I end up with when I stop swapping officers around, because I really want any units over here to have the speed perk. Okay, now let's start doing generals. So we're going to want you here. And we're going to take speed and infantry. I'd normally take trainer, but there's a couple places where speed is just important because of the timers, so we'll be able to make use of him. Sure, you can probably stay there. We're going to give him the speed perk. This, these units come in early enough that they don't need the speed perk, so we're fine. Okay, I guess the downside of... Wait, what do I have? Let's free up a major, and then we can do all the swapping we need to do. So what do we got? 41, 30, 22, 22... 49. So these guys can have. Probably leave the generals there. They're fine. Just leaving them there because they'll be able to rank up and they'll be fairly safe. You do not need a general. Yes, sir. We're actually completely fine with a major. I might even be able to put a worse major. Yeah, I can put a worse major in his place. Uh, let's go find a worse major. So you're only 26, so can't use you. Twenty-nine. Let's see what we're looking for. Are we looking for 32? Okay, looks like we do not have one. Oh, maybe up here. Okay, 
don't have a better, uh, slightly worse major, so that major can stay. Uh, we'd like to up you a little bit if we can. We'll see what we come up with. You can have a worse colonel. Drops down. You're fine. You guys need to go up. So we'll see. We'd like. Might get Lieutenant Colonels or something. Ah, uh, okay. Here's here's some of my spare stuff. I'm gonna disband a little just so I don't buy more captains than I need. I guess I could have disbanded those other units. That probably would have made more sense. Yes, sir. Okay, I got top lieutenant colonels. So where can I get these in there? Will you fit? Yep. really want to put a general in there just because of the high chance of dying so we're going to put a general into division command and that boosts us up enough that we have our efficiency capped again these could go down but I don't know if we have another, I don't think we have any other options in terms of officers you're never going to be happy no matter what we do so it's fine The rest is junk. So we're left with we've got Colonel, Colonel, Brigadier. You're fine. Let's get you a Colonel. I'm going to switch these guys out for Majors, I think. perks on these guys. Maybe one more. We have a general. Yes, we don't want to put a general in there. Just looking for a worse colonel that I can put in charge of something or other. I guess all of them are pretty decent at the moment, so... In there. So we've got a 
couple of majors. Yes, sir. Don't think we can do much more with the officers. I think we're about as good as we can get. I think these are all okay. Good. There's a couple of better majors in here. Those will be very useful for the artillery. Now we're, we have a slight efficiency penalty, but not much. Yes, sir. Don't think we need a good major anywhere else. I think we're set. Uh, I guess the other thing you can do is if you are short on money, you can skip all this stuff. Just just fill out a first core and go. Um, you can easily win the battle with that. I'll talk about that more when we actually go into the battle itself. For those of you who aren't going to stick around for 20 minutes of me messing around with this. Which I cannot blame you for unless this is the type of stuff you find interesting. Okay, so let's... up captains yes, sir. if I have to buy extra I would rather buy more majors than captains just because they'll they'll be more useful Oops. Come on. There we go okay first core is good second core needs that okay set. Now we need one more down here by the colonel. What do we have left? Uh, basically out of artillery. We could bring a 5 pound ordnance unit. Um, is it worth? I don't think it's worthwhile. We'd probably be trading something out here. We need all the infantry we can get over here. We don't want more here. Yeah, no, we're not going to we need more infantry. So, that. We've got one captain. Uh, okay, we can make a unit of that, a unit of that, and then we're out. So we'll do that and buy two more majors. Out of rifles without shoot. What did I just do? Ah, crap. Oh, we bought some farmers. Oh well, there's worse things in the world. I guess I must have misclicked. Oh, I think I know what I did. Okay. Oh well. Not too expensive. And then we'll just fill out with skirmishers. Okay, so I think we are full up. Uh, have I bought stuff in the armory yet? We want those. We want these. So, we've cleared out all our officers. We're getting some more back for Malvern Hill. That'll be good. We got a little bit left there. We'll just dump it into supply. Even though I don't think it comes in. I think that is about as good as we could get. We could, if we're willing to put in more recruits, we could use, get a couple more guys here. Uh, it doesn't, it's not really necessary. Could have saved a little bit of money if I had not bought those extra farmers. And, but I think I did about as well as I could do with officers. 
We've got almost everything one star except for those artillery units. So that's good. I think that's actually better than when I did a test run. Just to see how this would go. Um, and figure all of this deployment stuff out because that took a little bit. Yeah, I think I actually did that a little bit better. Um, so just taking a brief look. We're a little bit over the minimum, but that's to be expected with those last battles. But that shouldn't be a problem. Facing 27, which is, I think, a little bit up from the minimum. I think the minimum before I did anything, I think, was like 25, 26. Uh, we're actually going to be outnumbering them quite a bit, but a, several thousand of those units aren't even going to factor into the battle. Same with the guns. Uh, it's not going to matter either way. Um, but, you know, theoretically, if you wanted to, you could make much larger units and still be fine but completely unnecessary. So that is the camp. Uh, hopefully that is helpful. Uh, mostly the de deployment stuff at the beginning. Uh, the rest of it is all standard camp stuff. Um, but I will be back with uh, the battle itself.